Ashante Holiday here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are going to be going over what exactly to do once you have a new course, service product, mainly courses, because as you know, I do uh, white label courses for my clients. And so I just don't like for the loss in the forest effect after you have your new course. I want you to have a proper understanding and guidance on what to do afterwards. Now, um, this is just like a little uh, preview there as well, but I just wanted to go over the first five things that I think are essential for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, before we start real quick, do me a favor. If you're catching this live, go ahead and drop a three down in the comments for me. And if you're catching the replay, go ahead and drop the number like two. So two for replay, uh, three for live. And yeah, so the first thing that I want for us to look at you guys is to create engaging learning outcomes for your audience. And what that means is you want to make sure that you have a clear vision on what your client is trying to gain from signing up, right? So you want to be specific with your goals and you want to make sure that they're measurable and stuff there. So what are the outcome that your student wants to get after a week in your course, after two months, three months, things of that nature? That way maybe you can even follow up and say, hey, how was this for you? Were you able to implement? What was your outcome? Did you get that? Do you have any further questions? Um, is there any of my other courses that can best serve you? things of that nature. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to set course goals, you guys. All right, so this means that you want to set goals for yourself and for your course. Now, if you have a, um, a goal and stuff that you want to educate you know, what is it, 50 people within your first 30 to 45 days in your community, um, or just within maybe your business, maybe you plan to educate further the clientele that you already have. Maybe they're paying you on a monthly basis. I know that a lot of my audience are credit repair business owners. So if you're trying to have um, them as also your students as well, then you would just want to make sure that you set those goals really, really clear and that you write those down, those milestones that you're trying to get to. Um, which brings me to my second thing, set financial goals. Don't just say that you want to sign up X amount of people. Say you want to sign up X amount of people for X amount within X time frame, right? So 20 people, $50 each, because I want X outcome by this date. Be as specific as possible, right? Because it's almost like you're writing it into fruition. Even if you don't make it to that exact goal point or even half, you took a step further than you were yesterday to get there, right? And that's the first step to use actually taking the action to make that happen. So, you know, just little things, so free. You know, and then the next thing is you want to be specific and know the worth of your time. All right. So, yes, I feel like a lot of you are outrageously knowledgeable that are watching this. And I feel like you deserve your weight in gold more. Right. With that being said, your audience, you want to make sure to think about your audience. What can they reach, right? So if you know that 90% of the people that look to you for guidance, that watch your videos, that like your posts, that are on your email campaign, that are in your Facebook groups, uh, following you on TikTok, following you on Instagram, I could go on forever <laughs> and step there. If you know that your audience can reach financially to sign up for your course, if you feel like the extra change they have in their pocket to invest in themselves on an educational, you know, level and stuff there, if you feel as though they have like five to six hundred dollars, then you're not going to price your course at fifteen hundred dollars per person unless you have a high ticket audience. Do you feel me? Is everyone still with me here? Let me know in the comments if you're still with me, just so I know, okay? So once again, if you know that, hey, my clientele can reach X, 
maybe I want to meet my price at where they can reach me, at least for the early bird special, right? At least until you have your testimonials, um, at least until you have like all of your things kind of set together because it's okay to have a few beta launches. It's all right. You can relaunch as many times as you need to. But I just want for you to just keep that in mind which leads us to number three, you guys, uh, which is to determine your intended audience, right? So your target audience topic. Now, if you have purchased a white label course in a box service from my company, HCR Custom Services, then you already know what your course topic is and congratulations to you. If you're making your course from scratch, of course, right? Then you are going to need to kind of tailor your audience to the topic kind of thing there, right? So for example, if I have a how to be a food trailer course and stuff there, if I'm promoting a signups for my food trailer course, then I might not be promoting it to all of my credit repair clientele, to all of my realtor clientele, to all of my trucking business owner clientele, right? I'm going to segment those posts to food trailers, exactly. How would I do that, right? I'm gonna maybe make a Facebook page for that, a Facebook group. I'm gonna make a newsletter for my email campaign. I'm gonna make it so that I have everything possible that would make that person intrigued in that topic, um, make them wanna say like, hey, okay, I'm curious about this. Let me check this out. You know, Maybe I don't know everything about food trailers. Maybe I wanna learn a little bit more. Let me go ahead and invest in myself a little bit further and take a look at this self. Let's take a look at this because everything is about your audience. Everything is about them. Yes, it's your school and it's your course and it's your hard work that is going to help your clients. With that being said, everything is about your student. Everything is about them. And so you definitely want to keep that in mind with everything that you do. It's so much that goes into um, like, you know, launching your course and things of that nature. It's not just having a topic, having all your courses and modules and putting a price onto that. Not everybody is a millionaire overnight. Okay. And stuff there. So I want you to keep in mind that the hard work is still there. It's just that you had um, a little bit of help, right? And that's okay on stuff. So you definitely want to create a strong strategy and just keep going strong. Okay. So let's go ahead to number four, you guys, which is going to be to engage your intended audience. And what is engage? Engaging is interacting, right? So this means email marketing, social media, um, use multiple platforms, things of that nature. Um, you have TikTok, you have Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube is huge. You can also start a blog on your page and on your online university. This drives traffic there as well. Everything that you do, you should be able to recreate it into multiple forms of content, right? So for example, um, whenever my companies make one video, that one video has multiple jobs, right? So one video will be a reel. It'll be a blog post. It'll be a principle. It'll turn to a TikTok reel an Instagram reel, YouTube reel, things of that nature, things like that. So, and not everything is, has to be made harder, right? So yes, I have a team that helps me, of course. Before I had my team, I only had myself, um, YouTube and some really good friends by my side and stuff there. But ultimately it was me and the YouTube, you guys. Um, I didn't always know how to make a YouTube reel. I had to learn that stuff, you know, and then eventually I end up having teammates that are able to help me with that. Um, but even to this day, sometimes when I'm trying to make the perfect caption for my business, I still get tongue tied sometimes. And so that's when I use uh, coffee.ai and stuff to assist me with that. And for honestly, I think like the first year I was using them and stuff. Um, I was using the free account with them, but they do have a paid account, which allows you to do a little bit more with their features. And that's the one that I use. I think I do like 49 or something a month for them, but feel free. Um, but keep consistent with your branding and stuff too. You never want your audience to have to wonder who you are, or what you do, right? So when someone comes onto your page, they shouldn't have to scroll for more than 20, 30 seconds to find out what you do and what, what you offer, what you stand for kind of thing, right? 
what kind of person are you? Are you a nice person and stuff there? Are you afraid to pitch what you do, your business and things of that nature? Are you promoting it and stuff? Because if you're not promoting it, that means you're not proud of it kind of sort of, right? Now, not everybody promotes their own stuff. Some people have a sales team. Some people um, are very profitable with promoting on the back end with only emails. Some people only, um, what is it there, promote through Google as well, through Google AdWords and stuff. So do what's best for you. It's just, I would recommend if you don't have a huge following to not let certain things go. But yeah, you know, just do whatever's best for you. It's all good. Um, but yeah, no, and then inform potential clients, you guys, of learning outcomes. So if you have any clients, and you're like me, and you care about them a whole, whole lot, and during your consultation calls, you can't help but to ask, after you've invested in this service, this product, this program, what do you have next for yourself? What's your vision for yourself? How do you plan on learning, growing? What's your plan for you? And just sitting back and listening, right? And I'll write it down and stuff, and I'll just take it in. Anything that I know that might help that person, I just tell them or let them know of one of my resources that can assist them with that or getting closer to that goal and stuff. So you can always let them know, like a lot of my credit repair clients, right? They, sometimes they sign up as a couple. Sometimes one person signs up and then the other person's like, I'm still on the fence. So I always have the other person sign up for the DIY credit repair program. And then usually they both end up signing up for like the home buyers, right? And stuff too. So what'll happen is if I know that that family also has dreams of expanding their business one day and learning about business credit, not everybody is in the same place with their business. Some people are educated a whole lot in one area one subject and then not so much in another and so if I know that one of my courses can help that person that family then I'm going to go ahead and let them know because I'm proud of my product my school my courses and I know that this can help them grow now before I was really uh, active on social media on Facebook things of that nature I didn't know about all of these millionaires and influencers and gurus. I didn't know any of these people. All I knew was Miss Nickens, Miss Campbell. I knew my teachers and stuff there. Um, Miss Bruce. Um, I knew my teachers, you know, I knew my tutors. I knew my neighbors. And honestly, if they had the platform where I could learn more without paying uh, an entire two, three townhouses worth of education, and stuff there just to find out what I like and stuff because I knew that I wasn't going to necessarily do the straight and narrow um like my friends and things there I would have taken it in a heartbeat in a heartbeat and stuff there I would have asked them and stuff and definitely went up to them and let them know hey I just graduated I don't have a lot of money can I do payment plans like what can I do because I'm trying to learn more I'm trying to expand my knowledge I don't really know where else to go and I see that you have this here to help me. I, I, I need help. Things of that nature. So that was the whole purpose of honestly me doing this. I want it for the micro communities that don't know about all these like, you know, big people that are now big in my universe and stuff there. I know there's somebody on Lomax Lane in Maryland right now that doesn't know, um, like, you know, Ashley Grayson that doesn't know about Derek Harper Dorica Harwell and stuff, these um, amazing uh, Black millionaires that are doing great things and stuff. I didn't know any of anybody and stuff there. I was just, you know, looking for a bus pass. Like, so yeah, I just definitely encourage people to get the word out in your community and stuff. You have to open your mouth and tell people what you have. Don't be afraid to talk about your offer. If you already have students in your, um, in your company so that you already have, tell them about it. Tell them about it every way possible. Tell them via text, tell them via email, tell them via call and stuff there. Maybe send um, a free vacation voucher and stuff there and let them know like, hey, we're doing um, 
uh, what is it there, a pre-sale, pre-enrollment, there's a whole bunch of different names you can use for it, but you can say, hey, we're doing pre-enrollment for X for a limited time only and stuff there. Uh, we have for each student that signs up, you can get a free vacation voucher. All you have to do is sign up and then just let me know by texting X to Y or whatever, sending an email to you. Try not to overcomplicate the process because they might just want what you have without you offer anything, but you won't know until you try, okay? And so, of course, lastly is number five, pre-sell your course. Um, sell course before it's done or before you've published it, right? Sell based on learning outcomes and offer the discount. So when someone says to sell based on learning outcomes, right? This is what they basically mean and stuff there. It basically means to sell the reason why they're signing up for your course you don't have to sell the actual course itself, right? So when it comes to, for example, business credit, right? A lot of people don't exactly get super excited talking about a paydex score, which is a score generated for your business credit, right? You want like an 80 or higher, things of that nature. But they get real excited hearing about a person say, hey, I just got a car through my business name. That sounds so much more attractive, right? hey, I just got commercial real estate through my business name and stuff there. And you can too, X, Y, Z. Don't lie though, tell the truth, but just say like, you know, hey, this can be your reality though and stuff there. I want to help you achieve that by do, 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 do. That's when you start naming your course objective, things of that nature, but sell the dream and stuff there. And it took me a long time to be able to understand that concept, right? Because as business owners, especially when you're a new business owner and stuff there, me years ago, the only thing that I could think of was the end goal, right? I was thinking of, you know, having 2,000 clients and vacationing in Turks and Caicos, all right? I wasn't thinking about the marketing strategy, the financial strategy, the vision boards. I wasn't thinking about the um, follow-ups, um, the delegation, the uh, forming the team, the, uh, what is it there? Forming the standard operating procedures. I wasn't thinking you guys about any of that stuff. Told you, I just had like the end goal in mind, but there's so many things that go in between and I want you to keep that in mind. So um, last thing that I'll leave you guys with, of course, is offer discounts if you'd like. I know that I personally use Think Thinkific as my e-learning course platform. They make it really, really easy for me. They have a coupons area and it's really easy to navigate um, and stuff there. I don't have to really think too hard and it's just all in one place. They have custom email automations and triggers already signed, already um ready within my course. So when someone enrolls, they get a welcome. If someone puts my course in their cart, they get an abandoned cart message. Anything and everything that I could possibly need and want in one place. Um, as of last year, I actually also partnered with them after being with them for about five, six years now. So yay, but feel free to check them out if you'd like, you guys. If you don't already have an e-learning platform, I will put my link for a free 30 days for you um, and stuff there. It's my affiliate link. It has of no cost to you at all. Um, so feel free to try it out, see if you like it. But yeah, so um, I hope that these five things to do um, helped you guys. We just went over the five things to do after you have a new course or a new course in a box service, things of that nature. And you can actually use it towards um, other uh, products and services within your businesses as well and stuff there. Um, if you learn nothing else, please feel free to take this last anecdote out, create a strategy for whatever outcome you want, right? So no client's gonna come and just fall in your lap and stuff there. You have to make sure that you yell it from the rooftops and things of that nature. So get creative and really put your foot to the pavement. You've got this and I believe in you. If you caught this live, you guys, do me a favor and drop a one down in the comments. If you caught the replay, catch the number two. And I will also put in the caption for you guys, my launcher course checklist. It's six pages. It goes from top 
to bottom of everything that you need to do and more. Um, and the five things to do after you complete your course actually came from there, but there are just so many items. It's too much to go over in one video. So I hope this really helped you guys. There's also an ebook that thoroughly goes over as well at my store. I'll just make sure to put those both for you in the comp captions, but until next time you guys, bye.